Hi guys, so I'm back again wearing the same shirt because I'm recording this two days in a row. I mean two times in a row. So, this video is all about Isabel. Um, if you watched my previous videos, you saw her. She is a wild, wild dog. <laughs> no, typically she's good. I am, she's a... 11 months old, almost 12 months old, pep one, full blooded. Um, I got her from a elderly lady nearby. I actually had to travel, what was that, three hours? Four hours to get her. That's near, you know, that's, that's close for me. Especially since no one around here has a pep one. I had wanted a pep one since I was a little bitty. I, but as you know, I got my Yorkie, Harley, who I still love and have here. He does not get along with Belly yet, though, because she's in the very, very hyper Papillon puppy stages. She will run and try to bite him often if I allow them to be around each other too long. Um, she loves to aggravate everyone and very hyper, but very sweet too. She gives kisses and loves. She has learned so much since being here. Um, <coughs> are you choking? Yeah, I'm eating a piece of chicken. Okay. Um, but since I've got her, um, first of all, they said she was named, but she didn't know her name. But I did keep it the same as what they had it. Her full name is Isabella Boo Dyer. Um, she's not registered yet. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do that because I'm not planning on breeding her. Um, in fact, she's getting fixed. But I originally got her with the intentions of training her to be my service dog. Um, the task she was going to be trained to do was pick things up for me and bring them to me. Um, if it wasn't near me, bring it, bring them to me. If I dropped it, pick it up and hand it to me. Um, and to get someone if I break. Um, but as of now, she has a few health problems that I'm still getting seen about. Um, as far as she, when I first got her, she's litter box trained, fully litter box trained, but they use wood chips like what you use in um, a hamster crate or rabbits, stuff like that. <clears throat> but she ate some a lot, and it made her have a whole lot of stomach issues. The first month of getting her, she was at the vet three, four times. Um, so I definitely had a medical entrance there. <clears throat> and she puked a lot, got sick a lot. I was very concerned that it was parvo or something along those lines, but it wasn't, thankfully. Um, we just had to get some antibiotics into her and um, let it just work its way out of the system. Now, though, the newest concern is that she might have a thyroid problem because she sheds a lot and doesn't gain a lot of weight. If that is the case, then I have decided that she won't be a service dog. I would rather her just take her medicine and be a regular dog for the sake of her health. Um, but she is fully up to her dates on her shot. She knows set, way, come, her name, when she chooses to know her name. <laughs> uh, she knows how to bring you a toy when you ask her. Uh, her favorite toy, though, is a laser pointer. She will chase that thing everywhere. It's under the table. I had to hide it proper. <laughs> um... But other than that, she's normally a decent dog, other than the fact I still can't get her leash trained. Anytime we're out in public, she wants to be carried, because I think that's how the people I got her from did. So if I set her down on the ground, even on the leash, she'll just look up at me, like, pick me up. So we're still working on that if she does become a service dog that will have to be definitely addressed. Um, I think that's about it on Bella. I'm excited she'll be one soon. And hopefully I was teething soon. Because right now she chews on everything. <laughs> uh, 
if you have any questions about Bella the Papillon breed or anything like that, let me know. Um, you'll probably see Bella in more videos because she tends to stick her head in the camera. Alright, bye guys!